spoke. Do not be afraid. I am from heaven. I could feel her love wash over me, like a wave. She asked us if we would be willing to suffer for God, for our suffering would save so many sinners. When we said yes, the light of heaven pierced my heart. I can't see anything. I asked her what it was that she wanted of me. She said for me to pray the rosary for peace. And then she told me that I must learn to read and write. For I would make her message known to the world. The apparition of the 13th of July was different. The lady appeared just as she had before. But this time, there was a sadness about her. And when she opened her hands, it was not heaven's warmth that embraced us.
Then, she showed us a city, half in ruins, and said that unless people turn to God, he will punish the world with a second world war within the next generation. To prevent this, she would come back to ask for the Pope to consecrate Russia to her Immaculate Heart. If then, we still did not act on her requests, godless men will spread their communism throughout the world, causing war, famine, and persecutions of the Church. The good will be martyred. Holy Father will have much to suffer. Above us, we saw an angel shouting, Henant, Henant, Henant. He pointed the swords towards the earth, as if to set the world on fire. But the flames were stopped by the splendor that Our Lady radiated towards him. She said, in the end, her immaculate heart will triumph, and a period of peace will be granted to the world. Stop raining. What do you want from me? Of all the things said to us that day, what impressed me most deeply was her tender sorrow. She said that we must turn to God, for he is already so much offended. She spoke so gently, but with so much pain. I wanted to spread her words throughout the whole world. Will she take us to see heaven? I want so much to see heaven. She told me that she would take Francisco and Jacinta to heaven very soon, but I would have to stay. Am I to see you here alone? She told me not to be afraid, for she would be with me always. We have been cheated! We have been cheated! <laughs> Holy Queen of the Rosary, 
You promise a miracle. We will show them a sign so that people will believe.
It was not long before heaven kept its promise to my cousins. After the war, the influenza came. I do not remember how many weeks Francisco suffered, but he never complained, not once. He took his flight to heaven on the 4th of April in 1919. Jacinta joined him a year later. Don't cry, Papa. Her final sacrifice to Our Lady was to die alone in a hospital in Lisbon on the 20th of February. Tell me, Mama.
Please.